All right. Good evening, everybody. All right. So it's been a while, but uh, we need to review and approve the minutes from our May meeting, which was the last meeting that we had. So did anybody see any need for corrections or additions? No. That's fine. No. All right. All in favor of approving the minutes? Say aye. 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 Very good. Um, and then in terms of the update, um, you know, they, I got an email a week or so ago, maybe a little more than a week from the uh, town administrator in Ashfield, who's heading up the process. And he says, we're just about ready to go and suggested a meeting for next week among, you know, with all the conservation commission chairs to form essentially a steering committee for this shared agent. And our next week, we would review the uh, the job posting so that it can get posted and we can start reviewing applicants shortly thereafter. So um, we're now five towns that are, that are willing to be part of this. So it's Asheville, uh, Buckland, Waitley, Williamsburg, and um, who am I missing? Holly. Um, and so apparently it's been approved by all the select boards and they're just waiting for people to sign the the memorandum and we are ready to then post the position and start looking at applicants. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's exciting. And, you know, based on my conversations with some of the other commission chairs, they're they're relieved at the idea of getting some help as well. <clears throat> Most of those towns like us, Scott, they're just small, just small town boards that can't really handle this or. Yeah. And most of them have, you know, rotating chairs so that nobody has really been in place for all that long. Uh, well, I'll take that back. I think in Holly, um, um, that their chair has been there for a long time and, in Williamsburg, they have a pretty good chair, Joe Rogers, who knows his stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just that <clears throat> there's so much going on uh, that it's hard to keep up with. So he could really use some help with that. Um, Williamsburg is the biggest town out of the five, I think, with like 2,600 people. So <clears throat> you can see that we don't all have the kind of resources that would allow us to have our own individual agents. So I think everybody is sort of clear-eyed about the need to be flexible in order to try to make this shared agent work. That's good. Does anybody else have any news or updates or observations? Well, I think it was true all over town that we had a near tornado last night. Oh. Yeah. Well, didn't they say one almost touched down in Amherst or something? They had the warning out, didn't they? We had we had three trees down on our property there, and they're down wow. all around us. Wow. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Amherst yeah, one... had had uh, a warning because it came across from UMass. I got a text from UMass that there was a warning, tornado warning. Yeah, we had a warning. It ended up just being a um, severe storm, but lots of trees down. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a colleague that lives in Warwick, <clears throat> and he says basically his his way out of the out of his house is completely blocked by you know town roads that have trees across them. So there are no there was this morning there were no town roads in which he could escape his own dwelling. Uh, so he's supposed to be at a meeting tomorrow uh, or workshop that we're putting on. So he said he's going to have <clears throat> his chainsaw charged up and and, and extra batteries and and a sharpened chain to try to make sure he can get up, get to campus. We'll see how, how well he does. <clears throat> All right. Well, I suggest that we take up uh, the Waitley Highway Department's request for determination of applicability. Even though Keith's not here, all of us were at the site visit yesterday. So let me summarize for anybody that's watching the recording what what this issue is about it has to do with uh <clears throat> stormwater management along williamsburg road where there are a couple of places 
where the ditches become overwhelmed. In one place, it's a ditch that becomes overwhelmed and then it runs over the top of the road and it washes out the road and, and goes um, you know, across to the other side. In the other place, it's when the, the, the Sanderson uh, Brook overflows its bank. Uh, it runs down the side of the road through the, the stormwater ditch on one side and then eventually overwhelms a culvert that's meant to take it to the other side and then it washes out the road there. Actually, I think I have them backwards. I think the culvert is in the first one, and then and then the other one is the is just where it goes over the road and and washes a lot of the gravel out. In neither case would these culverts be on a stream that would be within our jurisdiction. Uh, it really, is primarily to handle the overflow, the floodwaters, and the stormwater. Um, and so the idea is to to replace the twelve inch culvert with an eighteen inch culvert at the first location and to install a 12, uh, an 18 inch culvert at the second lo location so that the water, when it overflows the, the banks of, this, of the brook will actually go through the culvert when it crosses the road instead of over the road, washing the road out. So does anybody have any comments or questions or thoughts about that proposal? Very clear. Does anybody have any concerns about it? No, no. All right. Well, then in that case, I will propose that we issue a negative determination of applicability. And I don't see any reason for conditions. Anybody else want to propose conditions? No. <clears throat> all right. Well, all those in agreement of issuing a negative determination of applicability say aye. 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 All right, and it passes. All right, I will uh, drop the paperwork off at the town offices tonight. And if you can get around to signing it tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, early next week, that would be great. Um, <clears throat> last time I put it in that little vestibule between the two sets of doors, it got relocated. <laughs> so I'm going to take it further inside and put it on the table where uh, that leads down, I think the table is still there, that leads down to the, the town administrator's office. Mm -hmm. So you'll need to go through both double doors and then look for a table with, with my folder on it um, after that. Okay. All right. Any other business? All right. Well, that's a very quick and efficient meeting. Um, thanks for coming out tonight. And... Uh, Oh, that's one one other thing, as I mentioned it yesterday, that as long as nobody, none of you has a conflict, our next meeting will be August <clears throat> uh, 21st. So that's a regular meeting date, third Wednesday. Is, does anybody have a problem with that? No, that's fine for me. No, that's fine. Yep, no, it's good. All right, and <clears throat> I will be back in town on the 18th. So I guess the question is if we had to schedule site visits, uh, how does the 18th, 19th and 20th look to you? Looks good right now, but. Yeah, I think I'm free for right now. Yeah, I think that's okay for right now. Yeah, that's okay for me too. All right, I'll try to <clears throat> steer them to the 19th and 20th, the early evening site walk, so as not to encumber your weekend. Um, but we'll see when the applicants are available. Um, I know a couple of them now. One of them's DOT, and the other one's going to be um, some consultants that are working for the town. So I can check with both of them and try to get those scheduled be uh, sooner rather than later so that you know what to expect. Good. All right. Well, thanks for coming out, and uh, we'll see you next month, if not before. Uh, hopefully, we'll have <clears throat> nicer weather starting tomorrow, so enjoy it while you can. I'm sure it's not going to last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye.